Apple last week introduced the HomePod Mini, which is a more affordable alternative at $99 or £99 to the full price HomePod that's been around since 2018. Although the Mini will not match the original model for sound performance, on paper, the HomePod Mini does offer much more from the U1 chip, thread connectivity, and enough power so it can be used as a HomeKit hub. So in the absence of a full in-depth review, which I will be doing, here are my top six reasons I think the HomePod Mini is worth buying for your HomeKit home. Hi, welcome back and my name's John. This channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit, news, reviews and tutorials. So if you're new around here and you are into HomeKit or you're thinking of getting into HomeKit, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget to check out our social channels at Follow HomeKit on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So first up is price. So rumors have been circling for some time about the HomePod Mini, but I don't think anyone could have predicted the $99 price tag, which makes the HomePod Mini a lot more affordable than the 299 original HomePod, which until now companies like Amazon and Google have run away with the smart home market with its cheaper alternatives. But I do want to be clear on something. The original HomePod was more than just a smart speaker. It's a full immersive sound experience and plus Dolby Atmos and home theater support coming later this year will really set apart the original HomePod from other smart speakers. And if my first choice is going to be music or indeed a home theater experience, then the original HomePod would still be my recommended choice. But that being said, the HomePod Mini is a lot easier to justify spending $99 on a home speaker, which will make it more appealing to those that are looking for Siri voice assistant support. Plus, given the price point, users should be able to justify buying multiple minis to be placed around their home. Yes, I hear you saying already you can get a more affordable option such as the Echo Dot. Granted, you can. And while we have not heard or used the HomePod Mini yet, one thing for sure, this is not going to be a $50 device. Plus, if you're already in the Apple ecosystem and HomeKit or planning to make that step, then the HomePod Mini will be the most affordable option to be the center of your HomeKit home. Next up is Intercom. With HomePod Mini, Apple introduced a new intercom feature that lets you send messages to and from HomePod and other Apple devices. So if you have multiple HomePods throughout the home, then it will make the intercom feature a lot more attractive and usable. One person can send an intercom message from one HomePod. Their voice will automatically play on the designated HomePod speaker or speakers, depending on the instruction given to Siri. Now, I did do a full in-depth walkthrough of how this feature works and the video is in the description below and also should be coming on the top of the screen now. Intercom messages will also appear on connected iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch and CarPlay. Additionally, intercom messages will play through AirPods and this will allow the user to reply. So I think intercom is gonna be a great feature, particularly again, going back to the original point of the price point, this will enable more HomePod minutes to be placed around the home and make the intercom feature a lot more attractive and usable long-term. Next up is HomeKit and HomeKit hubs. Given the Mini is a de device that is designed to be placed in multiple rooms or even hallways, the new Mini is gonna be a great way to control HomeKit connected devices by voice. So for instance, if you have a HomePod Mini in the bedroom, you'll just have to say, hey, turn out the lights. And because the HomePod Mini will know which room you've assigned it to, it will just control those lights. The other benefit of the HomePod Mini is it can use it as a HomeKit hub. Until now, if you wanted a HomeKit hub, then you needed to buy an Apple TV or a full-size HomePod or use a iPad. Whereas the new Mini makes investing in a HomeKit hub far more affordable than ever compared to other options. By using the HomePod Mini as a HomeKit hub, then it can process advanced automations and allow remote control to your HomeKit accessories in your home when you're out of the house. In addition, it can connect Bluetooth and thread-enabled devices to your HomeKit setup, such as the eFlare or other devices which don't use a hub, but use Bluetooth to connect. Another benefit of using HomePod Mini as a HomeKit hub, you can also enable it to work with HomeKit Secure Video with supported smart cameras. HomePod Mini can analyze the feeds of your supported video cameras, looking for presence of people, pets, and cars. Then all the video processing is done right on the device itself using the S5 chip. And 
is then encrypted end to end before being sent to iCloud and then you can view it anytime. Next up is the U1 and ultra wideband features. The HomePod mini contains one feature that the original HomePod lacks, the U1 chip. The Apple designed U1 chip is an ultra wideband chip which performs directional and proximity based actions. So later this year, Apple will deliver an update that will utilize the U1 chip to enable smoother handoff experience. This will enable you to switch your music from your phone and to the HomePod seamlessly. But I think Apple could take this one step further and use the U1 chip to act as an ultra wideband base station. This could track location of people in the home using an iPhone or Apple Watch that also have the U1 chip. So the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, and the Apple Watch Series 6, for instance. It could allow users to interact with media controls, smart lighting, door locks, and other HomeKit devices. Taking it one step further, it could use automation rules for certain times of day, meaning it could trigger a device to act in a certain way. So in the evening, if you walked into the bedroom, the U1 chip would detect this and turn on the lights based on your preferences to warmer colors. Whereas if you walked into the living room in a morning, it could raise the blinds and turn on the HomePod to your morning playlist or favorite radio station. And while Apple have not explicitly said this, the fact they've included LiDAR technology in their latest iOS devices, this could be used to scan a room in your HomeKit setup and be able to identify locations that devices are placed, particularly when you're using it with proximity, U1 chip, or indeed Apple AirTags should they arrive in the future. Then using LiDAR, U1, air tags and various different other technologies could really improve the home kit home. Now this is where Apple could go with this. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see when they start to make traction using the U1 and wideband features. And given the HomePod mini as these, it's certainly a compelling option and a top reason to buy the HomePod mini. Now next up is thread. And although Apple didn't mention this in the presentation, looking deeper into the specs, the new mini includes thread wireless capabilities. Thread is an IP version 6 based low power mesh networking technology for Internet of Thing products. Intended to be secure and future proof, the connected over IP project chip, which have been working on a royalty free standard to promote interoperability in the home connectivity space, leveraging Thread. So this could be the first sign that chip is making progress and Thread is part of that move going forward. So buying the HomePod mini for your home, you're future proofing your home kit setup. Although at the moment we're pretty limited on thread devices, we'll certainly see these come into the future. And if you've got a HomePod mini in your home, then you're already future proof and you're able to work with the devices. Now my next reason is stereo pairing and AirPlay 2. While the original HomePod will be getting an update later this year to enable a more immersive home theater experiences when paired with an Apple TV 4K, which will bring 5.1, 7.1, surround sound along with Dolby Atmos, users can still pair HomePod minis as a stereo pair and work together to deliver left and right channels. HomePod mini also supports AirPlay 2 multi-room capabilities, which means if you have multiple minis throughout your home, the sound will play throughout the home in sync, which will be handy if you're cleaning around the home and you want your favorite podcast to be heard, then this will be useful. But don't worry, each HomePod mini can also stream its own audio so you don't have to put up with your kids' music. Now, my last tip is around privacy, and this for me is one of the most important ones. As we all value our privacy in the new digital age, privacy for internet of devices should be a number one priority for all. After all, connected devices such as smart speakers are in our home, listening to what we say, and sometimes collecting this data. But with the HomePod Mini and the original HomePod, they only send the information to Apple once Siri has been activated. Plus, information sent to Apple is not associated with the user's Apple ID, nor is any personal information sold to any third party. To further protect user privacy, personal feature requests will only work if the user's iPhone is within the home which the HomePod mini is located. So for instance, someone could not listen to other people's messages or activate personal settings on the HomePod, which are linked to a user. So this is useful to stop your kids from listening to your messages or accessing your personal iPhone data, which I think is really good. So just to summarize, Apple took us by surprise when they first announced the HomePod mini at the incredible price of $99 or £99. Yes, it's not going to have the same audio quality as the original HomePod, but the full-size HomePod is more than just a smart speaker, as I've already mentioned. But Apple has packed the HomePod mini with the latest tech and innovation, which gives us a glimpse of the route Apple is going with its HomeKit journey. So the HomePod mini will be available in white and space gray for $99 or £99, and it will be available across multiple 
multiple different countries with pre-orders of the HomePod Mini beginning Friday the 6th of November and shipping will start the week beginning the 16th of November. So guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've got your own suggestions, comments, questions, leave it in the comment section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.